If the mailman delivers a box to the President in the White House, and that box, unbeknown to the mailman, is laced with deadly anthrax, the mailman is not responsible for assassinating the President. As a common carrier, he is protected from this liability. If an airline flies into an international airport, and secretly one of its passengers is smuggling illegal narcotics into the country, the airline is not guilty of the criminal act of drug smuggling. As a common carrier, it is protected from this liability. If two criminals make a phone call to organise how they will rob a bank, the phone company isn't liable for the damages to the bank caused by the robbery. As a common carrier, it is protected from this liability. Contrast this with a newspaper. The editor has control of what articles appear in the publication. They can discriminate between articles that could be illegal or untasteful and fill their paper with rainbow unicorns or whatever else the editor sees fit. The editor has editor rights. They choose what to present, but by the same token, they are also responsible for what they present. A common carrier gains protection from some liability. Their liabilities are limited. They have, in essence, made a deal with society. They agree not to discriminate between customers and follow a set of regulations set out to prevent illegal activities, and providing they do so, in return, they are protected from liabilities of damages caused by what they carry when they didn't know what they were actually carrying. As an internet user, you pay your internet service provider for transport of data through their and, if required, third-party networks. You might expect that whatever websites you access with your connection, whether at Facebook, YouTube, email or Reddit, your internet service provider will transfer the data to you with the agreed upon speed. This is the principle of net neutrality, all data being treated equally. But internet service providers are turning to the content providers who send significant amounts of data through their networks, demanding they pay, in addition to the consumer, for the transfer of data. If the content provider pays up, the data remains sent through a so-called fast lane. Well, if not, the internet service provider slows down the data, resulting in a disastrous user experience for the consumer. If an internet service provider is allowed to discriminate between data for monetary gains, it is exercising some degree of editor rights, and as such should have the liabilities of an editor. The internet service provider should then be responsible for what data they choose to transfer. And remember, for society, not all data is equally beneficial. This situation is obviously unsatisfactory for all involved. So it seems logical that internet service providers make the common carrier deal, just as the postal service, the airlines and the telephone companies have done before them. It is a simple solution to find internet service providers as common carriers requiring them not to discriminate between data unless they know it to be illegal. And in return, if the user is acting illegally and the internet service provider did not know, they should be exempt from all liability.